Hello and welcome to the member recognition table talk video. My name is Gabriela Alvarado. I'm the Farmland Division LTG for the 2023-2024 service year. I am also the member recognition subcommittee chair. I'm a junior at Jennings County High School and my key club moment was the first service project I did for my key club, which was painting a learning trail at a local park. So in this presentation, I will be going into depth on what the program is, what I do as a subcommittee chair, and how to be the best member. So what is member recognition? Member recognition is a program to recognize and showcase outstanding members. Those who are chosen will be recognized on the Indiana District Instagram and recognized at DLC. What is my job? I grade each submission and then create a graphic of the winner to be posted on the Indiana District Instagram. I also create infographics and other promotional materials for the program. So on the Indiana District Instagram, the members who are recognized, you can go look and look at previous members who were recognized in the graphic that I use, and that could potentially be you or another member. And if you look at your division's Instagrams, you will see all the infographics that I've previously made. So now on to the form. Um, there are a few rules for the form, such as they must be a member as of March 2023. Um, they also have to be submitted by someone other than themselves, so the candidate cannot submit the form. Here is some information that you will need for this form. You will need the number of service hours within the past month and their school, as well as a list of events they've attended, such as DCMs, regular meetings, service projects, Fall Rally Key Leader DLC district events, or international events. So this is what the member recognition rubric looks like. I'm going to go through and um, kind of go in depth on how I grade and what I'm looking for to have a great submission. So at the top, you can see the columns, um, the point system. So if you are distinguished, you get four. Proficient three, apprentice two, novice one. Um, so for service hours, you'd have to have nine to 10, seven to eight, five to six, or zero to four. Um, I also grade on attendance. So attending all the events, attending three, attending two, attending one or no events. So as I'm going through this, I have questions linked how many hours events attended and there's other options so like you can put in service projects specifically and if they've attended a lot more service projects then that's great um for the essay this really is detrimental to the points given to the member so if you're filling out this form, please be cautious of what you're writing. Make sure you go in depth, put everything out there that they, every reason why you think they should be a member, showing their leadership ability, their character building, inclusiveness and caring, which is the, the core values, but showing examples of how they've shown that. Not just beating around the bush saying like, oh yeah, they're a leader, they're caring, they evolved, whatever. They like give scenarios of how they did that. Like I would like to like examples, um, their accomplishments. So like if they've led a service project and it was really, really successful, it was a great turnout impacted several people and it was not an easy project. Um, have they brought ideas to the board or shown an example of having an initiative? So they're, they're taking charge, they're taking lead. They want to be 
like proactive. Um, so also going along with leadership, like did they initiate the lead in the service project that they did? Um, have they gone above and beyond? So strongly participating at events and bring several ideas to the table. So they are communicative. They talk about lots of different things like giving ideas on service projects, um, different things you could do to impact the community, um, how to do things differently, um, participating, so speaking up, um, being active with everyone, um, and being well-rounded. Also, do they embody the core values like leadership, character building, inclusiveness, and caring? So do they show these characteristics? This is more of a not in the essay. It's do I see that they are leadership, character building, inclusiveness, and caring, even if the person did not say directly, like, oh, this is an example of this. Do I, like, find it within the passage that, yes, they show these qualities. So, and then for each column below four, um, it just goes one by one, so a little less of each. Um, when I do this form, I click the button, which one it is, and my rubric automatically calculates the score for me. So that's good. Um, 80s and above are the selected candidates. So if you get an 80 or higher, you will be recognized. So the submission form is very, very detrimental to the member's score. And that is all I have for the member recognition video. So thank you for watching this member recognition video and best wishes on your Key Club journey.